As the Monsanto trials currently underway at, are revealing, the true results in Monsanto's experiments were concealed not only by Monsanto, but by government regulators who are supposed to be protecting us and not corporate profits. Concealed in the Monsanto records are ghost-written research attributed to academics. Tracy Malkin, uh, Stacy Malkin talked about that last night. Proof that senior EPA officials quashed government reviews of glyphosate that would have been conducted by the US Department of Health and Human Services. And that's uh, actually, that was one of the few things that actually appeared in the New York Times about the documents. These, uh, Jonathan Latham says, he's the executive director of the Bioscience Research Project and has a chapter on this in my book, as does Stacy Malkin. These Monsanto concealed documents represent a tremendous trove of previously hidden or lost evidence on chemical regulatory activity and chemical safety, heavily focused on the activities of regulators. Time and again, says Jonathan Latham, we regulators went to extreme lengths of setting up secret committees, deceiving the media and the public, and covering up evidence of human exposure and human harm. These secret activities extended and increased human exposure to chemicals they knew to be toxic, which is why the juries now are coming out heavy against Monsanto over in, the, in three trials now, and the fourth one is now underway. Three trials, they won, one trial won three quarters of a billion dollars, another trial won two billion dollars against Monsanto, and then uh, I forget what the third one went, and now the fourth one is underway, and now they're trying, Monsanto is, and Bayer, which now owns Monsanto, is trying to, our friendly aspirin company, Bayer, is trying to manufacture, um, well, they're trying to, come up with a, a way of, so that they don't have to pay out all these billions of dollars and set up a pool and have, there are now 20,000 lawsuits that have been filed against Monsanto and maybe 100,000 people part of that potentially and facing over a trillion dollars in fines. And the juries have been outraged at Monsanto, because of these hidden documents, it's not just that these poisons affect people, but how Monsanto knew this, and so did the U.S. government, and they lied about it, covered up, worked in secret together. That's what these documents are now showing, and we wouldn't have known that without the trials, even though we suspected it, but we wouldn't have gotten all the documents without these trials that are now underway. So the first case that came to trial against Monsanto was heard just last, uh, a year and a half ago, <laughs> it seems like a decade ago by now, the plaintiff's name was Dwayne Johnson. He suffered from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma caused by Monsanto's Roundup. His legal team presented documents that Monsanto had been keeping secret, which revealed government collusion with Monsanto. The jury voted unanimously to award Johnson who is a school groundskeeper, a quarter of a billion dollars in punitive as well as actual damages. And Johnson is a real hero. This is Dwayne Johnson. Um, maybe we could give him a, a round. Monsanto's own scientist, Donna Pharma, informed the company that you cannot say, this is a quote from her, that you cannot say that Roundup is not a carcinogen. We have not done the necessary testing on the formulation to make that statement. The testing on the formulations are not anywhere near the level of the active ingredient glyphosate. So in other words, they tested glyphosate, which is poison, but they didn't even do the testing on the rest of Roundup, which now we're finding out includes POEAs, which is surfactants, and also now arsenic inside Roundup. As a result of the judgment in favor of Johnson and a subsequent plaintiffs, there are currently, as I said, 100,000 plaintiffs who have signed to file lawsuits against Monsanto, alleging that the exposure to Roundup 
cause them or their family members to become ill with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a form of cancer, and that Monsanto suppressed that research. New cases are coming to trial. They are now responsible for $1 trillion in Roundup-related lawsuits is seeking to settle all of them from a fund that might cost Bayer $8 billion, which is a bargain for Bayer, because it's only around 12.5% of what it paid to buy Monsanto. One attorney, Mike Miller, of, on our side, is holding out, convinced that injured plaintiffs deserve much more than what they would get from these type of settlements, and his resistance to settling with Bayer could either scuttle or end up strengthening the proposed deal. We don't know which way it's going to go. But that's what's happening right now, today. I mean, today the trial is going on, literally, in, in St. Louis. Although they are trying to suspend it, they adjourned it so that they can try and get the settlement together.